Deuteronomy 8. The whole commandment that I command you today, you shall be careful to do, that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land that the Lord swore to give to your fathers. And you shall remember the whole way that the Lord your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. And he humbled you, and let you hunger, and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. John 3. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life but the wrath of God remains on him. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 10. But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he has heard from us? Matthew 4. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Deuteronomy 9 And at Kibrath Hatava you provoked the Lord to wrath. And when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Barnea saying, Go up and take possession of the land that I have given you. Then you rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God and did not believe him or obey his voice. This day, and I say, believe me. I say, believe me. For I say, it is the evil of being God who is able. I say, you are not meant to believe the lies of the liar. You are not meant to tremble in the fear of the wicked. I say, you are meant to believe me and stand upon what it is that I, the living God, have declared unto thee, and stand upon what is written in my word. For I say you are men to believe me, for I say that I'm able. Now I say you are living in times when men are believing the beast, they are believing the roaring and ranting, they are believing the cunning and the crafty invention of the beast, and I say they are seduced by the same. And I say all the while they offer unto me an evil heart of unbelief. And I say all the while they would rather believe the beast, the liar, the deceiver, than believe in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to believe in lies, to believe the beast, to believe the cunning of the same. But I say that I've called you to believe. That is, to believe that it is me, the living God, who is able, that it is me, the living God, who will bring forth. For I say if you will be believing me, then I say you are guided in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy of who I am. And I say, if you will be believing me, then I say you are uplifted and brought forth in my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not, absolutely do not intend that men would be found committing whoredom against me. That is, going in the way of the wayward, the careless, the proud, the arrogant, the ones who deceive themselves. But I say that I've intended that my people would be uplifted coming forth and they were guided in me. And I say that I've intended that my people would be partakers of that which I give unto them time and again. For I say that I, the living God, do delight when you will believe me, when you will come forth in me, when you will be guided by me. For I say you are living in times of grossness, darkness, and heaviness on every hand. And I say it is me, the living God, who is giving the call to all men to repent and believe upon me. And when I speak to my people, I say they are meant to believe in me, to trust in me, and obey me. Now I say this day there are endless multitudes who claim they love me and serve me, but I say that it absolutely is not true. For I say they are serving other gods, other lovers, they are serving the beast, and I say they are bowing to the same. And I say that they will not withstand the overtures of the beast, but I say they succumb, they take the very mark unto themselves. That is, the mark of being opposing unto me. That is, by believing in the beast rather than believing in me. Now I say this day you are not meant to believe the fear tactics of evil men who are a part of the beast. 
but I say you are an end to keep your focus, your vision upon me, that you can come forth and be ever guided by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who will guide you in the way that is my truth, my light, my mercy, my hope, day by day. And it is me, the living God, who will direct you and correct you and bring you forth, for yes, indeed, you are meant to be mine. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give you the light upon the path, when I give you the strength, when I give you the mercy, I say walk in the same. And I say be made glad each day that for me so are you guided in that which I intend time and again. For I say it is me, the living God, who intends that you would be serving in gladness with rejoicing day after day. And it is me, the living God, who intends that you would be guided forth, knowing that through me you are given the truth, the light, the blessedness, the hope each and every day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am the one who is well able, and I say that you can be trusting in me. And I say that I am the one who is well able, and I say you are meant to keep your focus, your vision upon me time and again. And I say you are meant to be knowing that through me you are directed in that which I give you, for I am well able. And I say you are meant to believe, to believe, to believe upon me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving the call throughout the earth to repentance, revolution, and I say it is time for the same. That is, it is time for men to believe upon me once again, rather than look to carnal men in the systems of the same, rather than to take the mark of the beast. For I say, if men will look to me, believe me, and trust in me, then they are guided forth by me. But I say, when men are looking to the cruelty, the oppression, the threatenings, the fear that the beast puts forth, then I say, they collapse to the same. And I say, it is because they are not believing me, but they are believing in that which the enemy would hurl at them. I say, this day, that I, the living God, do not call you to fall down at the image of the beast and bow before the same nor do I call you to worship and obey that which is evil and darkness, and think somehow you are all right with me when you do the same. But I say that I call you to turn away from the evil, the iniquity, the wickedness that is present on every hand. And I say that I call you to believe me because it is me you are meant to please. Now I say this day, be thankful that I, the living God, will guide you forth. I will direct you and instruct you in the life that I provide. And I say, be thankful that through me you will be uplifted in that which I give you, for I am well able. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness and truth, the way that is mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. And I say, if you will believe me, then I say, you are guided forth by me. Now I say, this day, let it be me that you will continue to look to, that you will continue to trust, to believe, and obey. And let it be me, the living God, who will guide you forth in the newness of life, the strength, the power, the glory that I give to my own. For I say, if it is me that you will be trusting, if it is me that you will be finding your life in, then I say you are directed each day. And I say, it is me, the living God, who is the one who will renew you in the life, the strength, the hope that I provide. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am ever present to those who trust me, who believe me, who walk uprightly in me day by day. And I say that I am ever present to the ones who will be partaking of that which I give them time and again. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the source, it is me, the living God, who is the mercy and the hope provided for those who are mine. And it is me, the living God, who will ever guide forth the people who believe and trust in me. Therefore, I say, be thankful that you can indeed involve yourselves in the revolution that I declare. That is, the revolution for men to repent, to return to me, for yes, they need to believe in me. And I say, when I call for such a way, I say, there are those who will hear and obey. And I say, such ones as these will find that they can believe in me. But I say that the ones who are ever holding back from me, despising my call, resisting me, where do they go? I say they end in a ditch, they end in a mire, and I say they end in that that I did not ordain. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not, absolutely do not intend that you would walk in a way that is far from me. But I say that I intend that you would be coming forth, knowing that through me you are given the blessedness, the truth, and the light day by day. And I say that I intend that you would be coming forth, knowing in me you are directed, for I am the one who is able. For I say it is a good thing to believe, to believe, to believe in me. That is, to believe what it is that I declare, to believe what it is that I ordain, 
and most of all to believe in me as your Savior and Lord. For I say you are not meant to learn about me, but I say you are meant to be believing in me and knowing me as I am. I say there are many, they dance around the issue, they refuse to come to the very essence of what it is that I require in my own. And I say they waste their lives in worthless religion and bear no fruit in the same. But I say when any will truly believe me, then I say they will bear much fruit, they will be abundant, and I say they will be able to guide others into me. For I say they will know of a surety that it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way of eternal life. And I say they will know of a surety that it is me, the living God, who can uplift, direct, and guide poor. For I say that they will be believing in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be weary and well-doing, but I say that I call you to look to me as the one who gives you the way of my life. And I say that I call you to look to me as the one who is ever-present and able to bring you forth. For I say you are meant to be made glad each day that you can continue in my way. And I say you are meant to be knowing that it is me, the living God, you must look to and believe. I say this day when a man or woman will learn what it is to believe and commune with me, then I say they will be guided forth in my way. And yes, they will be given the strength, the truth, and the mercy that I give them each and every day. But I say when you see the ones who are believing in the beast, trembling in the fear of the beast, obeying the beast, while they are rejecting my counsel, I say such ones will be rejected of me. For I say it is me, the living God, who will reject the ones who are wise in their own conceit. It is me, the living God, who will reject the ones who live in fear of what men can do to them and thereby tremble all the day long. But I say that I will be accepting of the ones who believe me, who fear me, and walk in respect towards me. Now I say this day, be glad to continue to look unto me, to believe in me, and trust me, for I am well able. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to go in the way that is whoredom and wine. And I say that you do not need to be overwhelmed and devoured because you are trusting in lies. But I say that you need to be guided forth, instructed by me, the one true God you are meant to please. I say, therefore, this day, be glad to believe me, to look unto me, and walk in the way that I give day by day. And I say, be made glad for the privilege to know that I, the living God, am the one who gives you eternal life. And I say, be thankful that through me you are shown the light upon the path, the truth, the strength, and the hope day by day. For I say, it is me, the living God, you are meant to look to, believe in, and trust, for I am well able. And it is me, the living God, who will show you by the way that I guide you, that yes, indeed, you can be kept in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy of who I am. And it is me, the living God, who will show you that through me you are directed in the purpose, the plan that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give to the ones who serve me the way of my righteousness revealed. And it is me, the living God, who will give to the ones who obey me the straight and narrow way of repentance, revolution, the humility way of my life. For I say it is a time for revolution against sin, it is a time for revolution against the beast, it is a time for revolution against self. For I say that my people are not meant to be bowing down to that which is wickedness and evil, then esteeming themselves to be all right with me. But I say that my people are meant to refuse the unfruitful works of darkness and not walk in the same. And I say my people are meant to be guided forth knowing that in me they are given the hope always. I say this day continue to love me, to serve me, and obey me, for it is me the living God who is able. And it is me the living God who will show you the light upon the path and the strength of who I am. And it is me the living God who will show you the way wherein you can be kept and guided and instructed by me. For I say it is me the living God who is the pathway of life and truth, the pathway of mercy and hope, and the pathway wherein you can be kept. Therefore I say, continue to believe, to believe, to believe upon me. For I say, the more that you allow your faith to be in me, the more you are kept in my way. And yes, you are guided in the way of repentance, revolution, the straight and narrow way. And yes, you are given the strength to continue when the enemy would seek to overwhelm thee. For I say, when you are believing, when you are receiving, it will be of me if it is me that you serve. 
I say this day be glad for the privilege to continue to be uplifted, directed, and ever guided in the truth, the light, the strength that I give day by day. And I say be made glad that it is me who will purpose you in that which I give to my own. For I say you are meant to be serving in the attitude of gratitude, ever believing in me. And knowing that for me you are given the hope and the peace, the safety, the strength, and the truth day by day. I say this day continue to believe, continue to walk in and declare repentance, revolution to a sin-sick, a perishing world. John 4 Meanwhile the disciples were urging him, saying, Rabbi, eat! But he said to them, I have food to eat that you do not know about. My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work.